Okay, everybody, I am going to share with you today uh, a technique I picked up from uh, Pedro Sauer many years ago. Hope he doesn't get mad at me for showing this, but it's really cool uh, defense to the uh, Ezekiel. I asked him a question, it was back when I was a pro about, and the guy's a wizard. He's an absolutely phenomenal technician, and uh, he had like five different answers for me, and uh, this one stuck out of my mind. I like it a lot. I don't go for it as much. I, I actually, my preferred go-to defense to the Ezekiel choke is in another video. You can link it up here. Um, and uh, this one's pretty cool though. I like it a lot. And, and so that's what we're gonna share. It's basically a late defense. Like number one, you don't wanna get your neck wrapped, okay? Then the second step is blocking the second hand from com coming in. If you're fairly late in the, in the whole process, this can work, and I've made it work before. So here's what it looks like. We're here, he's got this arm underneath. If my defenses go south here, he gets inside of this arm, now I'm in trouble. What I wanna do is sneak this hand in, just like this on the side of my neck. I'm gonna hold this nice and tight here, and I'm waiting on the second hand to come in. As it comes in, I'm gonna catch it right there over top of his fingers. Now I'm gonna reach around, I'm gonna lock above the shoulder so he can't straighten the arm anymore. I lock this in, I'm gonna bridge over this shoulder, and as I'm bridging, I'm pushing down into the wrist. Okay, so he doesn't really have, he has to verbally tap here, so be careful, because when you come up over top, you're putting weight down, and then you're gonna push this wrist to the floor. So if you can lift this side of your body up so everybody can see. So pretend this side of the arm is in, I'm catching this, as the hand comes in, I'm grabbing a hold of the, the fingers. I'm grabbing all four fingers. I want to be over top of the knuckles. This is too far down. I want to have better leverage here. Now I'm going to wrap above the shoulder. I bridge, and as I bridge, I'm pushing down into the wrist here. Pretty gnarly little wrist lock. So give that a try. Um, hope you like it. If you ever get a chance, go train with Pedro. He's an amazing technician, amazing teacher. And thank you very much, Pedro, for the, uh, for the technique. So we'll see you all soon.